Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. Teaching math concepts to a student with Down syndrome can be challenging. These students have difficulty with abstract concepts and yet we need to get them past the second grade level for math so that they can acquire the simple math and money skills it takes for independence. The challenge is that our students with DS are concrete thinkers, they have short-term memory issues, and they need function skills that can be incorporated into everyday experiences. If you're looking for a better way to teach math to your students with DS, you need to be aware of this book. It's called Teaching Math to People with Down Syndrome and Other Hands-On Learners by Dr. Deanna Horstmeyer. This book promotes things like early calculator use and functional use of coins like focus, focusing in on how quarters can be used in a vending machine instead of worrying about pennies. There's a problem solving section for real life situations instead of solving word problems. The assessments are done informally through a series of games and the concepts are incorporated, in, incorporated into everyday experiences. There's also modifications to the general education curriculum and there's tons of visuals in the back. I feel the information in this book addresses the limitations of our students with Down syndrome and then uses their strengths to get those basic math concepts into their long-term memory. It's a great how-to book or at the very least a terrific resource to help you and your students get what they need. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates. Just remember, the more we know about how to help the child or the student we love, the better quality life they will have. If you like this video and you want to be in the know, sign up for Behavior Communicates. You'll automatically get my weekly video and blog plus other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and share it with all of your parents, your teachers, your friends, and your coworkers on Facebook, Twitter, and all your other social media. You take care, and I'll see you next time.